you know, this particular region has been problematic, for example. Um, so I think it is important to use it as a tool and not a replacement um, for what humans can do and for mm -hmm. putting putting the model together. Um, because it's not it's not a solution. It's it's an assistant, right? It's an assistant right. and a helper, and it's not a person. Um, and you're not creating the same report every day and then publishing it. Like you're creating you're you you're creating something, modifying it, and then um, you're going to uh, you know make sure that it's going to be done the same way you know tomorrow in when they open PowerPoint or when you're sharing something is making sure that you know that's been updated. But I, mean, I think one of the that. other things that AI is going to bring us is not just the ability to like go to the report or get the answer, but go to the report that you aren't aware of or don't don't go to on a regular basis, right? Like if you follow like executive usage patterns and even end user usage patterns, mm -hmm. they go to three or four reports uh, and that's kind of like the upper bound of 80 to 90% of Power BI users is they have a small spattering that they go to on a regular basis. But that doesn't mean that's where the right information to answer that question is. And I think AI is going to help us get people to the proper report um, uh, that answers the question and the story for them. I think it's important. I think that you want to frame it as a recommendation rather than, um, you know, here are these areas they can explore or, you know, pretend, here's nudge to go look at that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, because one of the things that, you know, you see, with the it's so AI models in general are very poor at doing time series analysis. Mm -hmm. You get all of a sudden, you know, it is 2025 is after 